Hi, this is Deborah Peters, and welcome back to another episode of The Deborah Peters Show. Today's topic is all about focusing on yourself instead of focusing on others. And as we get into this episode today, I'd like to just take a pause and say thank you for subscribing. It really helps me build this channel. And there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. When you click that, it will let you know each time I upload a new video. And I do that five days a week. So Monday through Friday, I upload new content and it all revolves around mindset, leadership, building, scaling your business, attracting and coaching your team, everything to do with truly being a leader and taking that leadership growth and capacity into your business, into your team, into your company, and really taking it to the next level and the next level and the next level because we are infinite and we have the capacity for greatness just need the tools to be able to tap into that and foster it and grow it and develop it i also appreciate you following me on my other social media facebook twitter instagram and you can jump over to my website anytime and see the new programs that I have coming up and the link is below in the description box. So let's get started all on this topic about focusing on yourself instead of focusing on others. And so I'm going to start this with making a case for what happens when you focus on others and then I'll give you the antidote for that and share with you the value and the critical nature and importance of taking that focus inwardly and really developing a tremendous relationship with yourself. And then when that happens, your entire world unfolds in what seems to be magical and miraculous ways. So let's start off first of all with taking a look at what happens when you focus on others. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind, because I feel it in my, in my gut, like I feel it in my solar plexus, it immediately creates this disconnect between you and you. And I think we all know what that feels like, especially and most importantly, if you're that person that really tries to fit in. Do you find yourself trying to fit in? Like, where's my tribe? Who's my tribe? Who are my people? That's probably the worst thing that you can do to yourself is when you're trying to fit in with people, groups of people, an organization, you're actually disconnecting yourself from you. And when that happens, life can be very challenging and certainly it makes a uh, cause for lack of happiness, lack of fulfillment. It can also create ill health. The body is a, a vessel for our spirit and it responds to every thought that we think. It responds to every emotion that we feel. So, being disconnected from you and the infinite well of love that you are, then actually disconnects your body from homeostasis. And it causes all sorts of health problems. The cells don't function as well. The communication between your organs and your systems just isn't as fluid. The healing process takes longer. And physically, we start to manifest all sorts of ailments and symptoms. So if you would like to know more about that, I would recommend that you do some research on the vagus nerve, V-A-G-A-S, and the role that emotions and thought patterns and 
old programs that don't serve us, especially programs around abandonment as a child, trauma, shock to the system, emotionally, mentally, physically, and look at what that actually, um, how that impacts the, the flow of information and the level of health that goes from the stomach to the brain. And the vagus nerve is responsible for that. It's the longest nerve in the body. So do some research on that. Start to educate yourself. Get really good at understanding how you function and then create the life, lifestyle, thought processes, emotional patterns that serve your greatness, that serve your growth, that serve your happiness, your fulfillment, and obviously your, your homeostasis. As you know, my entire company and this channel is really a lifestyle channel. It's a lifestyle company. Many coaches and a lot of coaching companies just focus on one particular area. So they might focus on your leadership, the communication, maybe they focus on your business structure or your strategy or your mindset. Maybe there's focus on your health, your fitness, the nutrition. I bring this all together because you are all that. You're not a part of it. And we spend a massive amount of time every single day of the week, Monday to Friday for entrepreneurs, it might be seven days a week, actually working many, many hours. And it's really important that you get all of this into alignment. Your work will go smoother, your results will be greater, and you'll achieve more with less effort. Okay, so let's get into a little bit more about what happens when you focus on others instead of focusing on yourself. So you get disconnected, you get disconnected from you. Next, what happens with that is you're actually trying to control circumstances. You find yourself out of control because you're trying to control others. You're trying to control circumstances and you're trying to control outcomes that will always drain your energy you know we all know we can't control others even if we beat it into them you know if you ever if you ever tried forcing your child to do something they will do it to appease you in the moment but as soon as you turn your back they're off doing something else or the thing you don't want them to do and this is a wonderful um, case to make around what happens when you're not in alignment with you and you're busy trying to fix or fit in with or control others. It throws you off your center and it ungrounds you. It makes you feel like a victim, like your life is out of control, that there's something wrong with the world. Let me ask you a question. Are you one of those people, because I used to be this, I used to, when I got into coaching, this was my driver, was to fix the world. If you're that, then your entire life is out of control. Because what you're really saying is there's something within you that you see as being broken. And so if you fix things outside of you, then that brokenness within you will be healed and nothing can take you off of your path faster and longer than, than trying to fix the world. And that's another conversation for another day because the world doesn't need fixing. So we'll dialogue that out in another episode. All right. So you end up not truly being yourself you start to try to fit in and conform to what you think others want from you and, and many times that's just a matter of perception because they may not see it the way you do they may not want you to be what you think they want you to be so then just really gets super convoluted where you're standing on your head to make other people happy which is impossible Human nature is fickle, and as people are being triggered, 
by their mental emotional state they'll show up and respond differently every single time what happens with that is you can never please anything or anyone the next thing that can possibly happen is and i i for sure can guarantee that this happens is you feel powerless it's like now you start focusing on what's wrong with the world what's wrong with the economy what's wrong with your mother what's wrong with your husband what's wrong with your wife what's wrong with your kids what's wrong with your body the wrongness of things comes from not focusing on you so there's all of this external focus and all you see then is the wrongness, which is the complete opposite of the way the universe functions. Because the universe functions on unconditional love, complete unconditional love. We'll get into that in another episode as well. It makes you feel like things in life are happening to you, which comes back to that whole victim concept again. So if you're feeling like, I never get a break. <laughs> Why is this always happening to me? How come I'm two steps forward, three steps back? Those kinds of inner dialogues. Maybe you're saying, well, it's easy for them or they always seem to be better at it or more successful or he or she can accomplish that much quicker or easier than me. That is massively self-defeating conversation because you're focusing on others instead of focusing on you. It also creates energy blocks and cuts your sense of self. So when you have energy blocks, even if you're asking for a break, even if you're asking for something to come to you, you've set an intention, you've set a goal, it can't get through because you've got up this wall. And a wall of fear or a wall of self-protection blocks out not just the harmful stuff or the potential hurt you could feel, but it also blocks out the love and the goodness. And this is why having a really well-cultivated relationship with yourself is so important. Because when you have that resiliency quotient, then you know that you can bounce back or through or quantum leap beyond or jump over or go around anything that you're perceiving as being something that's holding you back. And it cuts into your self-worth. I think nothing feels worse than to look at others that are good at something or have something that you would like to accomplish or become or experience and see them as being better than you. It, it cuts down into the core, it chips away at your self-esteem, it chips away at your self-worth, it fosters more negative thinking. It's really a downward spiral, totally a downward spiral spiral. So, all right, what's the flip side of that? So the flip side of that is when you start to focus on you instead of focusing on others, then you begin to foster and feel this power growing within you, this connection to anything is possible, this thread and stream of love and joy and fulfillment and possibilities. I, I really believe that there's nothing greater than this, this spark of possibility. We don't know how, but we know it's possible. That begins to cultivate and attracts a feed of guidance that really truly comes from within, which is probably the biggest reason you want to focus on you and not others, because you have the answer to everything within you. You just slow down enough to sense, to pick up on, to feel, 
to receive that guidance. It comes as thoughts. It comes as a feeling. It comes as a vision. It might come as a message on a bumper sticker or a billboard or a flashing sign somewhere. It comes, it's there for you everywhere. When you're focusing on you, when you're tuning into you, then you can actually pick up on that guidance. Be a bright color. Allow yourself to shine. That comes from focusing on you instead of focusing on others. It feeds your energy to be you because you're infinite. I get this question all the time. Where do you get all your energy? My response to that is, you don't get energy. We are energy. We are energy in motion. And emotion has energy, thoughts have energy, other people are energy, our environment is energy. Get some splashes of color around you. <sighs> Yesterday I just had a painter come and paint a wall in my home. This absolutely beautiful Tiffany blue greenish color and it just reflects the light in such a beautiful way. Couldn't wait to get out of bed this morning and to look at it because it is so inspiring and it's so uplifting. So get some color around you. I remember when I had my logo design, I was criticized by a lot of people. It's like, it's purple. Nobody, corporations don't have purple. They have red, they have blue, maybe they have green, maybe some orange. And I'll do an entire video on the memes of color and what those memes mean in terms of where they hit us in our body and in our mind and in our emotions. Color is super powerful. So feed your energy and then watch your health increase. Watch your ailments dissolve and go away. Watch the diseases that are in your body disappear and homeostasis return. Watch the aging process slow down and you can make that choice to be eternally youthful. You can get up in the morning and you can look in the mirror and you go, oh my God, I'm getting so old. Or you can get up in the morning and you can look in the mirror and go, wow, every single day I get younger and younger. Every moment I am more and more vibrant. Every single thought I think increases my vibrancy, my vitality, my youthfulness my energy, I am a bright color. You know, change the narrative that you have going on in your head and be kinder and more gentle with yourself. Be more enthusiastic about your greatness. All right, it also attracts money and loving people when you focus on yourself. Did you know that money and love are the same vibration? And this is why in previous videos, I have talked about falling in love with your business. Instead of seeing it being something that's separate from you that you have to go do, change that attitude, because that's a really bad attitude. Change that attitude to being something that you love and that loves you back mm -hmm. and that you get to do. You get to build this business. You get to build this team. You get to create and receive and allow and generate. All right, just change up your perception. Start to perceive your business as a gift. And that's what focusing on you enables you to do because you are a gift. And the very fabric of the universe would not be the same without you. It also elevates your self-worth, your self-love, your self-esteem, and it maximizes and expands your ability to receive more with less effort. So I think I've made my case 
for why it's so important to focus on you instead of others. And what ends up happening then is all of those relationships that were pulling you down, that weren't going anywhere, <laughs> that there wasn't an alignment between you and that other person, they just dissolve, they just disappear. People disappear from your life because they're not in alignment with you vibrationally. People show up in your life because they are in alignment with you vibrationally. And that is why it is so important to focus on you only rather than others and allow your entire life, your body, your relationships, and your business completely transform like magic. Like all the miracles that people talk about really aren't miracles. <laughs> It's just alignment. It's just alignment. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I so appreciate you. Share this with your tribe and check back tomorrow. Ciao.